Hey everyone, so today I have very high ambitions. Let me tell y'all, we're gonna have a kitchen day. I want, I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. I wanna get in here and make several things. I might change my mind, because I've been sitting here like toying with exactly what I wanna make. So I wanna make muffins. I'm thinking banana muffins with a streusel topping. Y'all, I saw a video at some point and they looked so good. And I've got bananas that need to be used up, but I cannot find where I saved it at. So I'm kind of looking at different recipes. So this may change, we'll see, but that's my thoughts right now. I wanna make bread and I wanna make salsa. I have all the stuff to make a good batch of salsa. And I thought that I could hand it out as gifts for Christmas for some people that I just wanna give a little something to. And it'll be nice to have some salsa stored on our shelf. Um, so I made a chunky salsa yesterday and we just ate that, but I want to make the roasted salsa today. So those are my plans right now. Like I said, it could change. I also have some desserts that I want to make as well. I don't know that I'll get to that today, but it is on my list. If not, I'm going to do another cooking day. So I'm going to take y'all along and hopefully we'll just see how much we get done. It'll be interesting. Right now the kids are entertained but I'm sure that we will have a helper or two come in and join us. Oh, I haven't gotten started yet. Like I said, I have great ambitions. Y'all, things never go the way that I think that it's going to. Oh, calming down. So trying to get something started. It's a lot. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the salsa first because it's gotta roast for about 45 minutes. Trying, just trying to get that going. Kinley ended up scraping her knee. That's, I mean, she's calm now. She's okay. You know, had the cuddles, but then I come back in here to get started. And those of you who have lived in Florida, have been in Florida, and are familiar with palmetto bugs, <laughs> you feel my pain right now. I actually, we don't see them that often as far as inside the house. Things are moved around and shoveled because I was trying to get it, but I was just going to the kitchen counter and this Mac daddy greeted me and I can't like, now I just feel disgusted and everything needs to be clean and I don't feel like I can cook. <sighs> there was some screaming involved. Jackson got it. Yeah. Okay. Those things are no joke. No joke at all. I'm scared if there's going to be yeah. another one. And there's no like preventing them. It's not like German roaches happen because of like food being left behind and stuff. Palmetto bugs just are a whole nother force of all on their own. <laughs> oh my goodness. It scared the living daylights out of me. Hopefully he has no friends or family members left behind. Oh gosh. Oh. And my plans may have changed as well. I've got, we'll just see. It might be a two day ordeal to get this stuff done. So I might have to take one of our girls out looking for a dress because the dress that we bought online just might not work for their Christmas party. Mom wife, it's okay. We have a day or two, we can find something. But it just means less time for me to get stuff done here, which Again, it's fine. Like, I don't mind. What did I do with my tripod? There it is. We're going to get salsa started and see what we can do. Oh, goodness. Scrape knees and bugs, y'all. So, for those of you who have had an experience with a palmetto bug, you, you feel my pain. I'm literally still shaking. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We're going to do the salsa, y'all. <laughs> we are going to get something accomplished today. So I will have this recipe in the description box below. I have shared it before and made it, um, and it is so good. I gave a few away, like to my mom, my stepdad, my sister, and a friend, and they all loved it. Nathan does prefer the chunky salsa. I've shared that. Um, what helps with this recipe is, so these aren't garden tomatoes, obviously. It's not tomato season um but from what where I got it from she said that roasting the vegetables helps draw out the flavor like if that one does not look good um the 
that's just a little. But roasting the vegetables helps draw out the flavor and just helps them taste better as if you're buying store-bought vegetables, if that makes sense. So I actually have this section over here is frozen from what I have left over in my garden. So that is nice to use that up. So basically there is a recipe, but it's also kind of like, you know, do what works. So I'm doing a good bit of tomatoes and then I'm going to cut up those peppers over here. So it's tomatoes, bell peppers, jalapenos, I think. I don't know how many jalapenos I'm going to do. I don't want it spicy, but I do want that, you know, flavor. So I'm trying to remember if I did three last time. I think that's what I did. And I said, next time I'll do two because I made it too spicy. So I'll probably roast three though, and then add two and go from there. So get all these cut up. And then it, after it roasts, it goes in the food processor. So, goodness. So, one of the girls' dresses is, it's just too thin. It can work, like we, we figured out doing something, adding a slip and all of that. But we're just a little uncomfortable. So, we're going to see if we can find something at the Goodwill down the road. In worst case, we have to, you know, go on a hunt for a dress. We did go to Ross last night for, I'm going to wait and do the peppers. Um, so I can get gloves on. I'm going to toss these tomato tops. All right, can't wait to have a compost. Okay, um... But we didn't really look at dresses because we thought her dress was going to work. So he might end up having to go you know, back to Ross and all that jazz. It'll be fine. We will make it work. But it's just, you know, an added thing to the agenda. The party's on Friday. So. And today is Wednesday. I don't know if I said that or not. Yes, baby. All right, cut. Well, where's the apple sauces? They're in the fridge. Yep, in the lunch time. <laughs> All right, get this in real quick. Get this in the oven. Yeah, Feed the kids. Go hunt down a dress. Make salsa, make bread, all in a mom's day's work, right? <laughs> we got this, we got this. I'm not complaining, I, I truly do love it and I don't mind going and hunting for a dress. I want her to be comfortable and happy, so. Take two, totally forgot to add the onion. So I'm getting these two onions chopped up and I've got a little bit of a red onion left over um, from last night that I am gonna add to this tray too. All right, there we go. So this rows for previously I had to do longer than 45 minutes so I'm gonna set a timer for 45 minutes stir it and you know see how much longer it'll need salsa so stuff is still in the oven it's almost done just letting it roast a little bit longer I am gonna get my wheat in the mill and get this ground into flour I do have a detailed video on how I make this bread I will link that in the description box below and after I get this ground we're gonna load up and then go hunt for a dress and then we'll we'll be yep. back to cooking Come on. like that we got fresh flour I'm gonna get this covered up go shopping and we will resume making bread when we get back all right just got back home finishing up what I started here with the bread so I got water yeast two cups of flour in here and we're gonna let the sponge for a bit so we actually ran to Goodwill and I'm happy to say we found a dress 
y'all I was expected to have to go to a couple stores but it worked out really good so the dress that we ordered online it honestly looks like a nightgown and it's just super thin we put a slip under it it just I don't she didn't seem comfortable like she wanted to like it so I was like we got some time we'll just go look so first Goodwill that we went into that's literally just down the road so it is a pretty blue I guess it would be sat maybe not satin but like the similar material so it's more a little more formal than like her other dress but it looks beautiful on her and she found shoes and the dress was eight dollars y'all eight dollars <laughs> thank you so very happy about that she feels good about it um and it only took us like an hour so very thankful and yesterday went good shopping i think i don't remember if i said this or not um for the other girls of the things that they needed normally we have to make so many trips so having three teenage daughters you know they all have different styles different needs which is great but it just means for a long shopping day but we actually made it what is up with my nose anyways we actually made it and everything turned out really good mom life always juggling everything <laughs> so <laughs> all right bread dough's going shopping's done praise the lord we found what we needed salsa is done roasting this was done before we left. So this is now cooled off. I'm going to put this in a food processor. I set the jalapenos off to the side over here because I'm just going to add in a little bit at a time and not make the same mistake that I did last time. All right, y'all, this salsa turned out amazing. So I'm going to get this jarred up, leave one to eat now, put up the rest. It is seriously so good. See, he's coming back for more. Look at you. So good, huh? Then bread dough, and y'all, I think I actually messed up the bread somehow. I think I added too much flour. My count was off on my cups. So hopefully, you know, it's not gonna be too dense, but we shall see. Yep, get it all the way in here. It's <laughs> like, uh-oh. There we go, all right. Well, that's one way to get it all in there, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll go put it in the Okay, all right, so Harper's gonna be my little helper. All right, you mix that together. I will cream the butter and sugar together. So we were, Harper wanted to do the citrus muffins. So that is what we are gonna do. <laughs> Good job stirring. So she is stirring all the dry ingredients. We'll get this cream together. Get it all mixed up. Need to remove this. All right, does that help? Good job. So we're getting some sour cream in there. Good job. What's the best part of making muffins? Licking the spoon? <laughs> okay, so Miley helped me get them in the muffin tin, pan, whatever that thing's called, silicone pan. And the bread is risen. So we are getting these in as well. About eight minutes on the muffins, I think, and I'll check them, and then 30 minutes on the bread. I'm gonna can the salsa, and I actually feel pretty confident in doing this. Maybe that's a problem. So the first time I did this, I was did terrified. I did make muffins during the oven. You smell them? Yeah. So the first time I did this, so I've worked with two friends and have learned, but the first time I did this on my own, I was really scared, <laughs> but now I feel like I kind of got the hang of it and it's really hard to mess it up. So I'm going to jar up the salsa. I don't, I think I might be able to get four jars. If I need to end up prepping more jars, I will, but I'm guesstimating. I think it's four. I think my next thing is going to be the canned strawberry applesauce. The kids don't really like regular applesauce, but they love strawberry applesauce. Okay. The muffins aren't ready, baby. <laughs> yep. They're not ready. Huh? What? There's something on the Okay, you need help, baby? Okay, so I had, but they don't sell it in big containers. So I think it's gonna be cheaper for me to make a whole bunch. And then I was like, since I'm learning this canning thing, that would be fun to can. <laughs> it's your favorite bread. Kenny's over here, she sees the bread. She says it's her favorite. So muffins are done. Kids are already picking at them. Like those will not last the night. <laughs> it's so hard for me to make enough muffins. I normally quadruple the batch. It's very hot, Drew. Let's wait just a few more minutes. I, I like 
being hot. You like it being hot? Well, we need to wait just a little bit. But mom. Hang on, baby. No, it's super out. hot. Okay. I know this. Yeah. So I normally do a quadruple batch. I only did a double batch, so it's more for a snack. I'm getting water ready to boil to candy. So I have three and a half jars. So the half will go in the fridge and we'll just eat that. Um, so kind of feel silly just to can just three jars, but I'm learning, so it is fun. And the bread is done and I have it out to cool. I know, we gotta wait, baby. Right, here we go. All right, moving on to dinner. So tonight we are just going easy and we're doing biscuits and gravy and eggs. So Reagan is uh, cooking up the eggs. The, bis the sausage gravy is done. Oh, Kenny. We got a pile of biscuits ready. It's been a very busy day. I think I got everything done on my list except for the banana muffins, but we did citrus muffins instead. I saw we biscuits. Yep, we got biscuits. So we're gonna eat dinner. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. And we will see you all in the next video. Say bye. Bye. bye.